So let's start by just kind of reviewing what a historical analysis paragraph is going to look like. So uh, here you can see we're going to start off with a topic sentence where you identify the argument. Then you're going to talk about context. This is something I'm adding in today. We're going to spend more time on sourcing um, in the next unit, but we're just going to go over a little bit of context. I'm going to explain all these in more detail on the next couple slides. We're going to introduce and describe evidence one. So that's one of the documents, whether it's Booker T. Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, to your choice, which one you want to go with first. Two to three sentences there. And then introduce and describe evidence from the other document. That's evidence two. So if you make sure that you talk about both Washington and Du Bois. And then finally, you're going to spend two or three sentences providing reasoning for the significance of this comparison. So when you're talking about how they're different, or you could talk, actually, you could talk about how they're similar by saying they're not different, right? Um, but whatever you're saying, you need to explain why is that important? What is the significance of this? Okay, so in the next couple slides, I'm going to go through and describe what, um, what I mean by each of these bullet points in the structure. And I have this information for you in Google Classroom. It is listed in part A. I go over the structure with the details. So if you want to get in there to have that available and open for yourself as I go through it, perfectly fine. 